Well, it's one of the most anticipated movies of the year and this week we finally get to see Brad Pitt's action comedy thriller Bullet Train on the big screen. Brad plays an assassin named Ladybug who gets called in to collect a briefcase from a train in Japan. The only catch? The train is filled with other assassins also trying to get the briefcase. The movie is a lot of fun and I was very excited to get the call up to chat with Brad and his co-stars Aaron Taylor-Johnson and Brian Tyree Henry. It's time for some change. You want it simple for your first job back? It doesn't get simpler. You need to find a person who took that case. Hello, Legends. How are you? Yeah, hi, bro. Can I just say, like, I don't like catching trains at the best of time. And now, like, there's bloody assassins and snakes getting around. Like, no thanks. I don't know, man. They're probably always there, by the way. Yeah, I was about to say, I feel like most trains have killers and snakes on them, but that's just me. Well, now when I catch the train, I'm going to be, like, looking around like, is it you? It's you, isn't it? What are you talking about? You would be the most <laughs> killer on the train. Well, maybe I am. Maybe this is where I just oh, no. <laughs> tell the whole of Australia. I missed my stop. Something else going on here. Hi. You don't remember me. You look like every white homeless man I've ever seen. Really? You don't remember me? Was it fun working together, Brad? Truthfully, it was a lot of fun. It was really a lot of fun. It was in the, the middle of the, the lockdown. It was, it was great just to get around, be around people and make something again at that time. And this thing just was a, a laugh and it's done just what we wanted to do. Aaron, I love the chemistry that you and Brian have too. Yeah, we had a wicked time making it. I mean, you know, I didn't really know who my character was until Brian stepped into the, the shoes of Lemon and because uh, he's my That's, other half, that's when you said you complete me, right? When you that's when I said that. that. that was and, and, then, and then before that, it was love at first sight, you see. So it was instant chemistry. Get off at the next stop. It's not so easy when you say it. One little prick from this, you know what happens. Yes. Your blood congeals, clogging your feet. I oh. said yes! Was it really, like, physically demanding, Brian? Yeah, the, the hardest part was uh, carrying Brad's weight. <laughs> <laughs> and Brian's really out of shape, so... I, was... I really was like, God, man, if we could just get him to act this time. And thanks to David Leach, you know, he let me get in there and slap Brad around, and I, and I didn't know how badly I needed that um, <laughs> <laughs> like, until we, we started need doing this movie. So thank you, Brad, for lending me your face. I, I'm here to help, buddy. I'm here to help. <laughs> that's really nice of you to just volunteer your body and face for people to just pummel. You know, that's your charity. That's your good deed. You great sport. That yeah. was the working title for the movie, but he wanted bullet train, yeah. so. We didn't I'm a get giver. Paid. I'm a giver. There's nothing simple about this job. Something else going on here. Yeah, I'm not the only one on this train looking for this case. I think that's one of the things about making a movie in lockdown is that you do become so close. And the whole thing takes place in basically a tube. <laughs> so so you, we were forced to be close. We leaned on each other quite a bit, like leaned, like literally leaned on each other quite a bit because it was so crazy to be like going on this train that's supposed to be moving 200 miles an hour. We're trying so to much so that I had to get a restraining order against Brian because he was a little bit too much leaning. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I wasn't as handsy as that report said, so like you need to change. Aaron, a perfect gentleman. I'll just stay quiet, you know. Evan, hmm. where's the briefcase? It was just there. Brad, it's pretty rare these days that someone comes to you with like a completely original idea. Like, what were you like when you read it? Like, oh, oh, oh. Again, it was, <laughs> what was that? That was literally what he did. <laughs> I was a little bit like Meg Ryan and when Harry met Sally. And I got to like the Bad Bunny section, which is like, you know, a quarter of the way in and was laughing out loud. And I went, ah, oh, man, I, I, I need some of this. It's so lovely to talk to you all and congratulations. It's so good. Oh, Thank good. You. Thanks so much. Glad you, really glad you enjoyed because uh, that's why we made it. Thank For you, you specifically, we all got together. What does Brooke want? What does Brooke want? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Brad Pitt, for making that movie oh. specifically for me. I know. Wow. Wasn't he fantastic? Yeah. So I was talking to my mum about Brad Pitt the other day, mm -hmm. and I actually think he's hotter now than what he ever has been. That's Hopefully because he was now. flirting outrageously well, with you. Maybe. Right and because he was laughing at my jokes, yeah. possibly. <laughs> um, no, but I think, yeah, also because oh. when he was younger, he was mm. almost too pretty. Mm. Uh, uh, yeah. Now that he's sort of banged up a bit, it's what, like... What's Leonie's take? She thinks the same. She agrees. Yeah. 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 I thought I meant a lot to it. And if, yes, yeah, so, uh, <laughs> it will. <laughs> if you would like to um, also see Brad Pitt 
in Bullet Train. Mm. It's feeding into cinemas this Thursday. I want to know, I want to go back to the, to the interview. Did you get a little bit flustered? I did, actually. Yeah. Mm. And I was so nervous going into it because, you know, we've been watching these people for decades and mm. you just love them so much and you always want them to live up to your expectations. Mm. And he did. And it's really hard when they're doing that and, you know, that you know that they're sort of talking to people all over yeah. the world to grab their attention and to make it, like, a little bit different, mm. which you clearly did. And Obviously. the fact that he referenced when Harry met Sally. <laughs> when Harry like, met oh Sally. Oh, my God. Did you turn that into, like, your something. mobile ringtone or the screensaver yeah, or something? I think did. I'll just replay over and over. I did that especially for you, Brooke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be playing on repeat in my head. I think I'm going to play the rest it over of my and over life. again as yeah. well. Yeah. It was a really fun interview. Oh, well thank done. you, guys. It looks like a fun movie, too. Yeah, it's a fantastic movie. Go and see it, for sure. It was made for you, so I hope so. Yeah. Thanks, Brookie.